You're gonna have to stop doing that to yourself. I have to know if I could have stopped him. The man had a knife, he would have I killed you. I didn't know him. he had a knife. He was big I had and a chance strong and before fast. he had a knife. Don't, How did I know you that? You couldn't have stopped him. You weren't you there. Could... You don't know. I forget every, every woman I've ever been around to whom this has happened has gone through the same thing. They've had to put themselves through this. They beat themselves up because they thought they could defend themselves. Exactly, but they got past it. They almost always realized there was nothing they could have done. It wasn't their fault. Almost always. Yes, when a man rapes a woman, it is never the woman's fault. It is the man's fault. It's a horrible thing. It's an inexcusable thing to do. Some women have a, a problem getting past this sense of responsibility that they've manufactured in their mind. You think I manufactured this in my mind like it's a stupid imaginary thing that I could have actually stopped him, that I've actually no. done something about it? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? This is real to you. This is real. Does that have anything to do with any of the women that you've worked with? I'm sorry. I just, I, I must be fooling myself thinking that I can help you with this. I must be way too close to it to be able to keep my emotions in check. I'm, I'm sorry. time why what's going on well Eden's kind of you know she's having a real hard time we everything was okay until we went down to the police station but more questioning yeah they had a, a tape of the guy's voice and they wanted her to try to ID it did she no she couldn't she couldn't pinpoint that voice as being the voice of the guy who came in here well, it must have been really hard for her yeah, it was, and now she's somehow got it in her head that she's to blame for this, you know. That's not unusual, Cruz. I know, I just, some, I just hoped, prayed that somehow we would be spared. It's still real soon, Cruz. I know Eden is real strong, but we can't expect miracles. Would you mind talking to her right now? Not at all. Thank you. Let me... Darling... Uh, Dr. Donnelly's here, Heather. Uh, she'd like to talk to you. I appreciate this. I think I'll leave, because it seems to be easier for her to have me gone when she's trying to think about this. Yeah, you're probably right, Chris. I'd appreciate it if you'd stick around until I got back. I don't want her to be alone in the house. Okay. Okay. You know, let me ask you, is there anything else about her behavior or anything you can think of that I should know? Well, just that she seems to be more angry at herself than she is at the man who did this to her. Okay. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi. Uh, Heather just stopped by, uh, and I, I was thinking I might, uh, might go out for a little while. And that's okay. All right. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be back. I'll see you later. Hi, Chris. Hi. 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 How are you, Eden? Can I get you anything? No. No, I'm sure? fine. Yep, I'm fine. Okay. Well, I guess uh, Cruz told you that I'm... Yeah, I he told me. He had to go back down to the police station and tell a story over and over. And you've probably replayed it in your mind a thousand times. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny how at first your mind doesn't tend to focus on one thing for real long periods of time, but then after a while you start to dissect every little thing of the entire incident. I think that's what's happening to me, because I really think that I could have reacted differently when I was attacked. You think you had a choice? Yes. How, Amy? I had two or three really good chances where I, I could have hit him, I, I could have hurt him. You know what, Eden? 
I don't think I've ever talked to a rape victim who hadn't thought this exact same thing. But then after a while, they realized that there was really nothing that they could have done. And just the fact that they're alive shows that what they did was right. Oh, no. I know I could have stopped myself from being raped. <laughs> 